We're back with Syntax 77 here, and we're continuing our little foray into the world of reloading ammo. Uh, it's been a little less than a week, maybe, since last time I was here, and we were testing out some 357 Magnum rounds that I made um, using the Lee Classic Loader, and we're still using that. Um, but today, I've got an assortment of some different rounds that we're going to try out. I actually, I really like the Lee Classic Loader. Um, some things that should be explained about it. And I'm going to do a full review, but some things that be explained today. It, it, comes with, it doesn't come with a powder scale. It actually comes with something called a dipper. And the dipper uh, measures by volume, which a lot of the haters say is really dangerous, but I've had no problems with it so far, doing nice level scoops. The thing that I did notice last time, and you can probably notice if you watch the video, uh, for a 357, not a whole lot of recoil going on there. At least not from what I can feel, and probably what you can see in the video. So I bought a scale. First thing I did was I got the loading data for the powder that I was using, which is uh, accurate number nine. And uh, I saw the, the starting load they had listed was 11.2 grains, and max load was 12.4. So the first thing I want to do is I took a scoop using the lead dipper. It's a 0.7 cc scoop for the 357. All the different calibers are different. I uh, did a level scoop and it actually measured to 10.5, 10.4, about 10 and a half grains. Um, so it was about three quarters of a grain lower than the starting load listed. And they probably do that for safety reasons, okay? Um, so if you've mounted it a little bit, you're not going to blow up. And then they also probably do it because when you get that loader, there's a card with a whole bunch of different bullet types and about three different powders for each one. And they list three different powders for each one that work with that particular one size fits all kind of scoop. So, you know, certain powders are probably going to be closer to their real operating minimum load and some will be further away, like in my case the accurate ones. So, what I did was, um, I bought a Hornady, real cheap, $20 digital scale. Nothing too fancy, but good reviews, decent brand. Uh, decent brand. And just started loading up. First I did, um, well I have a bunch of my other ones from before that apparently are 10.5 grains. Okay. And then I also have loaded up a couple at 10 point, I'm sorry, at 11.2, which is their starting load listed, and with a different bullet, it's actually a semi-wide cutter I'm using now, so 11.2. And I did one with 11.7 grains. And then finally, I did one with um, 12 grains. And that should hopefully have some nice punch to it, but it's still not quite the max load, and I don't wanna, I don't, I'm not gonna bother getting there today. Let's see how this goes. But the max load is 12.5 with this particular powder. And then I also did up uh, about a dozen or so cowboy loads using a different powder called Trail Boss. And we'll get into that later. But right now, let's try out these Magnum rounds and see how we can step up progressively through the powder grain charge differences. So here we go. First up is the one using the Lee Dipper which apparently weighs around 10 and a half grains, well under the 11.2 starting load for this powder. So let's see how this shoots. It should be very similar to before. First one's out. Still has some decent punch, but nothing major, right? Now let's try something I used with the powder scale. This guy right here, and my Ruger, new Vicero by the way, is going to be 11.2 grams. chambered the correct round. You probably saw me flinching there, didn't you? 
edit that out. All right, here we go. I went pretty low with that, but more importantly, I think you noticed some more punch there. That's a little more of what I'm looking for with the mag, but that was 11.2. That was supposedly their minimal, or let's say starting round. Okay? Now we're going to do, and I got these marked for safety. Uh, this one's going to be 11.7, so we're bumping it up by a half grain. And let's try to actually put it in the chamber this time. Okay, 11.7 grains. A little more punch. I actually almost put that through the same hole, so whatever I'm doing wrong, I'm consistently doing wrong. And then last but not least, for sure, let's do uh, this one marked differently as well, 12 grains. Again, the max load is 12.4, so let's try 12 grains, semi-wad cutter. These are 158 grain bullets, by the way. And this should be our most powerful load today. Not super impressive, but what the hell do I know? Um, anyway, here's our 
I don't even know which is which. I forget. I know this is the hottest round here. That's the hottest round. Um, these two low ones that hit close together. Okay, these are the 11.2, the 11.7. This is the 10 and a half, the one way with the Lee Dipper. Probably the one I was most comfortable shooting and knew that it was going to be successful, so I actually concentrated. And then, and then there's your heaviest one, the 12 grain. Um, and then the cowboy loads over here blew that one up horribly. And you can see I, started, I was obviously pulling to the right a lot, but those are fun to shoot, super fun to shoot. So there you go. One more thing. Can I please get a chance to redeem myself after that horrible performance? Or at least try to redeem myself. do it, could I? Uh, couldn't do it. I'll take those four, but that, come on. Eh, maybe next time. <laughs>